All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit that sub button. Now, I did a video on this subject last night. I know my boy Swaggy's got a video on this as well. Now, there was a report, and first off, before I go any further in this video, Detroit Pistons fans hate this. They hate this so much. They're like, we're not that stupid. You know, blah, blah, blah. Kate Cunningham's ours, blah, blah, blah. And then you'll have like that... That outlier Pistons fan that's like, you know what, actually this sounds not this sounds somewhat legit. Not because I'm sold on Killian Hayes, but because it sounds like something that Detroit Pistons would be interested in. So basically the report is that the Pistons aren't sold on Cade Cunningham at one. Now, you've got Evan Mobley, Jalen Suggs, and Jalen Green. They're the most likely options for the Houston Rockets at number two in the upcoming draft. Now I guess Kate Cunningham can't even be ruled out. So this is per James Edwards III, a Detroit beat writer for The Athletic. He wrote that Mobley and Green will be heavily considered by the Rockets as well. So here's, here's exactly it. While Cunningham has been the consensus number one pick, it's not a lock that he'll be the top choice. Sources tell The Athletic that Green and Mobley too will be in heavy consideration for the number one pick. Now, Green is a 19-year-old bucket getter who had tremendous flashes playing in the G League this past season. Mobley is a, I hate when they call him a unicorn, but quote-unquote unicorn, a 7-foot center with ball skills and an elite defensive skill set. So that is interesting. And first off, I want to comment on Evan Mobley because I just made a video on why the Rockets should draft Evan Mobley. I'll do a whole video about most of the prospects and why I think, you know, they could be drafted. They're upsides their downsides i don't like when people call evan mobley a unicorn because a unicorn is supposed to be something that is like rare and does not exist i mean evan mobley is just a seven foot athletic dude i mean that that exists like <laughs> anthony davis was more of a unicorn in college like he had the ball handling skills he had the shooting in college I, he, he was more of a unicorn to me but this is crazy this is absolutely crazy. Cunningham, was, he played at Oklahoma State. He, he's been the number one front runner the entire season. So here's a quote. There simply aren't very many people on the planet who have the blend of size, shooting, and passing that he can provide for an NBA team, unquote. So for Houston, for GM Stone, I mean, I'm, I'm sure Stone is loving this. It's yet another option to monitor after a great draft lottery in his press or post presser, he actually said he was open to the possibility of even trading the number two pick or even trading up. Like there's, I don't have, I don't know what Stone has planned, but I wouldn't be surprised if they make a run at the number one pick or they trade that number two pick, get number three, get some draft assets or some player assets. I'm not really sure what Stone's gonna do. But all I know is the Rockets have somewhat of a chance to get Cade Cunningham. And to me, Cade Cunningham's the clear unanimous number one. I don't know why Detroit wouldn't want to get him at one. Maybe they'd want to draft Evan Mobley or Jalen Green if they were really that high on him. But this isn't all of a sudden, although it was all season, it was all NBA postseason. Up until tonight, last night, it was... Cade Cunningham is the unanimous number one pick all season, the entire season. And now all of a sudden, it's Pistons might not even want him. Or not that he, they don't want him. They're just going to monitor Mobley. They're very high on Green. There's a bunch of reports coming out that they've been high on Jalen Green. And like I said, man, Pistons fans are not happy about this. There was actually another report that came out from Sam Vecini. And he, his quote was, everyone seems to be acting like Cade Cunningham is the is a done deal. And I'm not totally convinced of that right now. And that's a pretty verified, trustworthy source. I don't know about trustworthy, but it's a pretty verified source looking at about 100K verified on Twitter. So all these reports, and like I said, that Cade one was from a Detroit Piston writer for The Athletic. So the rumors and the rumblings, they're about to start. And... I mean, this is something that Stone's going to be all over. You already know that. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hit the like button. Hit that sub button if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.